Hello, my name is Peggy Caswell. I am doing a video as an assignment for um, the University of Mount Olive, my Master's of Science um, in Nursing degree. And this is about transcultural nursing care, taught in Nursing 340 for transcultural and global nursing. My goal is to explain the value of transcultural nursing. I have three objectives, which are um, help you recognize how bias can influence patient care, um, identify how you need to involve a medical interpreter, and encourage a curious and open mind and by sharing some facts in a true-false format with the musical assist of Tesher's Jellaby Baby um, as seen in the TikTok challenge compilation on YouTube. So you might be asking yourself, what is culturally competent care? What is transcultural nursing and why does it matter? Well, according to McFarland, um, care is the central and dominant focus of nursing. It is expressed when it is known and used sensitively, meaningfully, and appropriately. As nurses, we can see the benefit in treating our patients as a whole person um, by including their families, traditions, support systems, whenever possible. This is especially important during major life events, and today we'll be focusing on um, pain, death, and dying. McFarland urged the nurses to ask clarifying questions, such as what is important to them and who would they like involved in their care. According to Gilver, Bott, and Manny Fogelman, a lack of knowledge, understanding, and trust can create major cultural barriers. To better understand the concept of bias, AmericanBar.org stated that is it often an unconscious um, thought that is, is like a lens that we view the world through, um, normally exhibited as an unfavorable attitude towards a race or group of people. Culturally competent care is so important that the American Nurses Association, also known as the ANA, in their Scope and Standards of Nursing Practice um, in 2015 released Standard Number 8, which is entitled Culturally Congruent Practices, as part of um, the nursing standards. McFarlane and Webby Alma in Leninger's Theory of Cultural Care Diversity and Universality included religion, politics, social and economic structure um, as things that help influence a patient's cultural views and beliefs. Transcultural nursing includes knowing when to involve a medical interpreter, and an example of this would be if you had a patient from the African country of Nigeria who um, does not have English as a first language, um, because according to Translators Without Borders, there are over 500 dialects spoken in the country of Nigeria alone. The Association of American Medical Colleges encourage collaboration with trained medical interpreters whenever possible, um, and a lot of facilities actually discourage uh, family members from interpreting uh, for fear of loss of context or perhaps they're not interpreting exactly the right um, verbiage. Givler Bott and Mani Fogelman, in their paper, The Importance of Cultural Competence in Pain and Palliative Care, discuss several different uh, views of world cultures, and we will um, present this in a true-false format. Um, so if I could please direct your attention to the signs behind my head, true and false. Our first question is, um, the Filipino culture may identify pain as hot or cold. Chore boss. Question number two. The Japanese culture is very open about pain. Chore boss. Next question. The Ghanaian culture um, doesn't want to speak about death. So instead of uh, telling a patient they're about to die, they'll instead say, it is time to get your house in order. True or false? Okay. 
okay, final question. The East Asian culture could see dying in their home as bad luck. True or false? In conclusion, um, I hope we um, discussed and help you understood what transcultural nursing is today um, by explaining bias, um, when to use an interpreter, and encouraging you to keep an open mind and continue lifelong learning. Please remember the examples I gave you are generalizations, and I always encourage you to be giving patients specific care. I encourage you to be curious, ask questions, celebrate our differences, um, because we're more alike than you know, and caring is a universal language. Thank you for your time. Please don't forget to fill out the survey and submit it to my professor, Dr. Joy Kiefer, at jkiefer, K-I-E-F-F-E-R, at umo.edu.